<laughs> trying to uh, introduce this bit, this video, Bean. This is Bean. Say hi to Bean. Um, he's not really helping that. But anyway, real quick, this is an old video. We're clipping it down. We call these uh, Scanner Danner Quick Tips videos. And you can hear in this entire video, I'm shouting. And it's an early video, it's probably from like 2012. And I'm projecting my voice to a classroom full of students. So keep that in mind as you watch it. I just wanted to bring you guys a nice quick video to teach you what to look for as far as mechanically stuck, closed fuel injectors. So enjoy the video. Okay, so we're looking at our, our ignition secondary waveforms. Uh, this is cylinder one, two, three, four, five, and six. We want to focus right here on the number five. It's companion being the number two, but we want to focus on this guy right here. And we have a dead misfire. We can feel it. We can hear it. It's misfiring right now. You saw that on the misfire counters. Let's jump back there real quick so you can see that our misfire is still there. We are still counting on the number five. I don't see anything wrong secondary in that ignition waveform. One of the things you want to remember when you're doing ignition is you want to snap the throttle, take a look at it on a snap. We'll see if we can catch it there. Go back and take a look at that. That was on a snap throttle. But what you notice about this number five cylinder is an extremely high spark line. That is a red flag of a no fuel misfire when you see that. I've also seen a damaged spark plug do something similar, but that is a classic view of a no fuel misfire. Let's see if we can get it one more time. Watch it, number five. Watch the spark line on a snap. Go back, take a look on that snap. This is frozen data now. There it is again, you see that real high spark line? Number five cylinder. Some of the other ones were high at different times. You want to look at it a few different times. That number five is definitely an issue. We're going to go after the injector next. The intake manifold covers the number five injector, so we are connected to a bulkhead connector behind the alternator. And the black with the white tracer wire is our injector number five. That's where we're adapted to. We'll do two different injectors to show you what a good one and a bad one looks like. We're going to look at the number five injector voltage waveform right now. What we're looking for is injector control. And what we know right now by this waveform is the computer is in fact turning this injector on and off. This is your battery voltage when the injector is off. Uh, this is the switch of the transistor where it turns on. Your pulse width would be from here to here. And the spike is a collapse of a magnetic field. What we're looking for in this waveform is what's known as a pencil hump, and it's missing at the end of this waveform. And what that tells you is there is no mechanical movement of this fuel injector. It is actually stuck closed. So you want to focus right here. I'm going to drop the voltage down a little bit so we can see that a little bit better. And there's a 50 volt. And again, we're looking for in here, ignore this. That's just interference. We're looking for a pencil hump right here. It is not there. We're gonna to go to a known good injector to show you the difference. I'm just gonna move the T-pin. Take a look at that area. There is a known good fuel injector. What you're looking at is right here. There's your pencil hump. You notice it's there on this injector and it wasn't there in the last one. I'm gonna go back to the other one. Take a look at it real close. Again, we're looking right here in this section, right there on this waveform, a little blip in the screen tells you that there's mechanical movement of that injector. I'm going to go back to the number five. Take a look at the number five. You'll see a good injector waveform, but what do you notice is missing? There is no pencil hump in that waveform. This fuel injector is stuck closed. That's why we have a high spark line in our secondary waveform. That's why we have a misfire on this car. Cylinder number five, fuel injector is stuck closed. All right, so we're still in the number five injector. What I'm gonna try to show, I don't know if this is gonna work. Sometimes, sometimes it will, but I'm gonna try to unstick this fuel injector. We're just gonna smack on the body of the fuel injector, try to unstick it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna work back here I'm going to take a screwdriver at the, um, at the injector, 
and I'm just going to smack on it basically with this screwdriver. I'll keep you focused on the scope while we're doing it. You'll know when I unstick it because the second I unstick this fuel injector, that pencil hump's going to return. So watch it. There it is. There you go. You got it. That's it. I just mechanically unstuck that fuel injector. Our misfire is now gone. Go back to the scan tool. I'll show you that. You'll notice that my misfire is gone on my number five cylinder. And you see the RPM is moving, so we are running. Engine's idling. Misfire is gone on the number five. Stuck, closed, fuel injector. You got two choices. You're either gonna replace that number five injector or we're gonna try some BG44K in the tank. But there you go, number five injector, stuck closed, identified by a secondary ignition waveform, identified by an injector voltage waveform, showing you a stuck closed fuel injector.